What's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jealous and today I'm building around Choice Band Grim Snarl for Sword and Shield OU. Then I will be testing out the team on the Pokemon Showdown ladder. I'm actually running Frisk, which you might find really weird. The reason it's really not that good is because you kind of reveal your secret, but I definitely think that it has a use in the sense that you can get information and play accordingly, but the unfortunate thing is that because you revealed that you have this ability, they basically know your choice event at this point because every other good Grim Snarl runs Pranksters. So yeah, that's unfortunate, but I definitely think it'll be useful. We have Sucker Punch, play rough as Dual Stab, and then Fire Punch for Pharaoh, Power Whip to Oko Seismitoad, and then the same EV Spur that I run in the dual screen set, Max Attack Adamant with 164 in speed, which is for Manda Buzz. And in order to get in on Manda Buzz, I'm actually going to add a Choice Scarf Flygon to the team, which I haven't used in a while. I used to spam Flygon all the time, but I've kind of dropped it recently, but we'll try it today with Earthquake Outrage U-Turn. And of course, Fire Punch. Just want to have all the fire coverage possible to make sure Ferrothorn isn't too big of an issue. And I can also pick off like a weakened Corviknight this way. Let's go ahead and run Jolly Nature, and good. The one thing that I'm noticing is we have two physical attackers. So what can I do about that? Obviously, I had a special attacker, but what physical walls am I weak to, and what special attacker could help pressure that wall? So, Grimmsnarl and Flygon. I know I have fire coverage on both, but they're both choice locked, and they both definitely struggle with Ferrothorn. Because of that, like, I have to predict every time, which I don't really think I want to force myself to do. So how can I break that? Actually, I've been having a lot of fun with Calm Mind Zara. The one downside if I ran that here is that I have to hit Focus Blast against Ferrothorn, which I feel like I never do, but we could give it a shot. Calm Mind Zara is fun. I guess we will, like why not? Let's go ahead and run Timid Nature on this thing with Leftovers and Calm Mind 3 attacks. This also opens up the door versus Hip Howdon, which is with the other target that sort of welds both of these, and obviously I'm going to have Grass Knot on this, so let's go ahead and run that. Thunderbolt, and then obviously the Focus Blast, so that's going to be the Zara once I put four EVs in this thing. And good, that's a lot of offense. I kind of want a stronger wall breaker though, like, these are strong, but Zara's special attack is like nothing special, and like, obviously, Flygon's attack is not that great. This can break, but the moment they know you're set and they can, like, protect with Clef to scout you and whatnot, it's kind of hard to break through. So I guess what breaks Clef is the big thing. Clef does kind of give the team a hard time. Like, if they spam Moonblast into Zara and get, like, special attack drops over and over again, it's not going to work out. So I guess Sigil Lift could be fun with, like, Psy Shock, but that doesn't even 2 it KO, I don't think. I could run Hatterene with Psyshock. I could run Mew with Psyshock. Nasty Plot Mew doesn't sound horrible here. It does also pressure Aegislash with Flamethrower, which a lot of people use as the initial pivot. Because whenever people see Mew, I've noticed they get really scared because they have no idea what it's going to do. And they think it's going to sweep them, so they'll pivot in some offensive threat. So we could take advantage of that by running Life Orb offensive ourselves and try to hit other offensive Pokemon coming in. Let's go ahead and run Nasty Plot. I did mention I want Psy Shock, so let's go ahead and run that. Flamethrower at plus two with a Life Orb does kill Aegislash, assuming it's fully offensive, and then we want Roost with max special attack, max speed timid. And uh, now we're kind of at the team where I just want to add my own defensive components and hazards, so what am I weak to? I definitely, I mean, I can break Horvanet with this team pretty easily. I have Zara plus Mew. Both of those have coverage for it, obviously. I guess Rotom Heat's still kind of good because it's able to wear down Toad using like plus two overheat, which definitely helps out Grim Snarl and Flygon. I'm pretty sure plus one Grass Knot would kill it, but if I can't Calm Mind successfully, I definitely want it in range. And then it puts it in range of Muse plus two Psy Shock, so yeah, we'll go Nasty Plot Rotom here. I'm trying to convince myself a scenario to use this tryhard Mon, and <laughs> I did find one, so let's go ahead and add it here with overheat. Volt switch, and I did mention I want this to be the defogger because if this is not the defogger, the last mod would have to be both the hazard setter and the hazard controller, and I feel like that's never good. The only mod you could even consider running both hazard control and hazards on is Excadrill. Like, I wouldn't run anything else with both hazards and rapid spin slash defog. Anyway, speaking of that, who's going to be my hazard setter? 
Um, a steel type would be really good right here. Just defensively, I think it's typing would really help out. So steel types that could stealth rocks. Why is nothing coming to mind? What? Oh yeah, Jirachi, Aegislash, not Aegislash, Ferrothorn. I looked at Aegislash for a second and said it, but Ferrothorn is the one I'm thinking of. I like Ferrothorn as a water resist. Like, I would get 6 0 by rain right now. Yeah, I mean, that's enough to convince me I need Ferrothorn. <laughs> if I run into rain, I would lose. So, let's go ahead and run this. With the minus speed. Zero IVs in speed. And leftovers. I'm not as high on the ladder as I usually would be. Like, right now I think I'm 1700 on the dot, but... Like, that's typically where you run into tryhard stuff like rain. I find that once you hit like 1750 or higher, you never find rain. Nobody uses it. But like, below that, you will actually run into rain. So I want to be careful about that. Let's run power whip, knock off, and... I guess stealth rock. See, I did mention I want hazards on the team. And I believe that will be the complete team. So let's go ahead and get a game. So I have a game right now. My opponent has a pretty tryhard team. It's pretty weak to... Mew as well as Rotom, so those are my two openings. Yeah, we're gonna lead Grimmsnarl and try to power whip into Hippo. I think that he would stay in, but he could also go Corviknight or Pex. I don't know, if he's expecting power whip, he'll switch, but he does stay in. I do 90. As he goes for the Earthquake, which is whatever. I think I power whip again. I mean, if he slacks off, it'll suck, so yeah. He goes Pex. I, I miss, which is whatever. Like, that's not that big of a deal. I'll go Pharaoh here, and if he shows Toxic Spikes, I'll not get up rocks and instead throw off knockoff. Because by doing this, like, I get to knock off Pex. He took so much between everything, like Sand, Iron Barb's Rocky Helmet, and my own knockoff. That did so much. And then he also lets me knock Clef, and this is my chance to defog. I mean, I can't really lose to that. So let's just... Just volt out here. Go to Pharaoh. Click power up. Like, this thing literally can't win. I don't know why he's trying it. Like, that's okay. It shouldn't be faster than my Grimmsnarl. And Grimmsnarl should do, like, 60, 70, something like that. So I force it out there, which is the important part. And I think we're going to try to go for game with Rotom sometime soon. Or at least try to break with it. I think I'll play off again on the U-turn. Yeah, I don't really want to switch out. I want to keep him low. So he goes to Hippo. He's going to go to Pex here, right? You have to go to Pex here. Okay, yeah, we got him there. I need to not get burned. <laughs> if he burns me, I'm probably going to lose because I'm also getting chipped by sand. But let's calm mind at least and see what he does. This is all good. Let's go right for the Grass Knot. Pick off the Hippo. Out comes Drill. If it has a rock slide, that's kind of bad. So I guess we'll sack that off and then go flag on. Actually, no, I need to keep Rotom at full for sure. I think I should go Mew here. But Mew also kind of wins, that's the thing. Maybe we go to flag on and just click U turn. Dude, if he stays in, that's so bad though. I guess Fire Punch is a good mid ground. Covers Corviknight too if he tries to roost it up here, which I think is good for me. But like, if he just stays in and Iron Heads me, it'll be a bit problematic. He might just pivot Pex initially because it's like, gonna eat up an Earthquake anyway, but he does try Corviknight. Which we're able to knock out. I'm actually surprised that he even died from 37, I guess he doesn't have any Fizz Def. And then yeah, right here we just go to Rotom. As uh, he's going to try this again, it's not going to work. Like, I, I literally beat this 1v1 by just nasty plotting up. Unless he's unaware. Oh, he definitely isn't unaware. I can tell you that. So, uh, goodbye, Clef. Yeah, he was, he got really desperate with that play. Like, what was that? I'll be right back. So, I have another game right here. My opponent has a pretty defensive team. I think it's bulky Kamo'o. Maybe, like, Sashi Gengar. Okay, we're gonna lead flag on. It's pretty good against everybody except for Marina. <laughs> Dude, if you're Scarf Icy Wind, just, just win. But I don't think you are. Let's just go for U-turn. I'm not about to scar scout for Scarf Icy Wind and lose because I did. Like, that just seems so silly.
I just realized how good Earthquake is, but I need to get rid of Celebi. Which I can definitely pressure using stuff like Mew and Zara. Dude, if I was just knock off Zara, this would be such an easy game, but I guess it's okay. I don't know why he's thinking so much. I mean, if you're sc if you're not Scarf or Sash, you switch out. Because if I Earthquake here, you would be dead. But then, like, who do you switch to, I guess, right? Because if I U-turn, Celebi dies. If I Earthquake, somebody else has to take a heavy hit. Komo'o is probably a good switch here, cause, because I would never Outrage turn one. Against, like, Double Fairy. That just seems really bad. Like, I would go Komo'o here if I were him. That play makes way too much sense. So we Scarf Dazzle. So I could have earthquaked and killed it, but at least we know what he is now. Allows me to actually just switch this in. I just realized he's like mono-walled by Ferrothorn besides Komo'o. That's actually funny. So he's going to go to that Komo'o here. And then I think I actually want to go... Grim. Or I could break with Mew now. I guess we can go Mew. So he goes for Flamethrower. I guess I'm really hoping I would stay in. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'll Nasty Plot. Oh, dude, are you serious? Dude, get this out of here. I don't die. I don't think I died to anything. Okay, maybe I died to that. <laughs> but it is it is focus blast, like, come on now. Maybe I'll miss a focus. Well actually I don't think I don't think I'll actually end up clicking focus blast during any point in this game. Dude, I'm gonna hit this. Like what? If you hit, let me hit you, then you lose to Flagon. I'm pretty sure he dies too. Okay, I didn't die. But he tries to recover it. Yeah, I just went with Earthquake. Although he has Scarf Gengar, so he does have speed control, which I have to be careful about. I definitely think... He goes Zara. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay in. There's really no point in switching. Shows Life Orb. Yeah, I just click Earthquake here. Earthquake is so free. I mean, obviously I feel bad for the miss, but... Just focus Blast right. I've lost games to that missing too. He goes Gengar now. I actually have to make sure I don't get swept by Shadow Ball, but I don't think there's any way that I do. Because, like, he gets mono-walled by Pharaoh now. Like, there's literally nothing he can do against this Mon. So that goes down. Permarina won't be able to win. Yeah, it's over. I don't even know why I'm <laughs> trying to figure out whether he has a win con. Like, there literally isn't one. And then I guess he locks Shadow Ball, which... Isn't going to do him anything. We'll um, end the game with Rotom, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to lose the crit, so let's just hit an over... Actually, if I miss the overheat and he crit Zera, he could win. <laughs> I guess that's just win con, right? But if I Volt, I could maybe 2 it KO him. Yeah, because I take 2 of those. Okay, so I made the correct play. Oh, this didn't even come close to dying to a crit. Never mind. Okay. I'll be right back. So I have another game right now. My opponent is using a pretty offensive rain team. I definitely need to watch out for Hydreigon. Actually, we're leading off with Grimmsnarl for sure. It's so good against everybody. As he leads off with the Pelipper and it's Damp Rock, so it's not Specs. I think we'll just play her off initially. Like, it could, hits everybody and I don't think he would go Aegislash on a Grimmsnarl, right? Like, that doesn't make much sense. He probably just U-turns, if anything, but... I don't know if he wants to risk his Pelipper, like, immediately. I feel like that's kind of risky, so maybe he goes... Toad? I, don't, I honestly don't know what he's going to do, but I think Player F is my best option. So he does opt to U-turn, I'm assuming. No, he opts for a knockoff. I feel like I got a low roll on the Player F, meaning I can probably kill it the next one, so let's try it here. If he doesn't want to mess with it, I should have Power Rip, dude. That would have been, like... Never mind, that did plenty. Dude, did I Sucker Punch? I feel like he has to click rocks, right? I'm gonna go for Player F again. He's clicking rocks. He's not clicking Hydro. Dude, nobody Hydro's here. Yeah, he goes for rocks. So, I killed that as well, which is helpful. Now he might go... Barascuta? No, he goes to Age Slash. So we can hit that thing up. It is weakness policy. Okay, well. I do have Pokemon that can take these hits, so let's go Rotom here. Just go right for the Volt Switch. Shadow Sneak will hurt, don't get me wrong, but I would rather kill the Age Slash while I can. And I also don't want him pivoting into Hydreigon here for free. 
so he does make that that Hydreigon play. So let's see what I can do from this position. I have to keep Pharaoh for sure. I do like the Flygon play, but it kind of requires me to predict. Like I feel like I can't just mash Outrage right now. That's not gonna do my do me many favors here. So let's go to it. But then do I U-turn or do I Outrage? Dude, I feel like I actually Outrage. I was really hoping that would 2 hit KO, but it looks like it's not going to, and I might lose because of that, because I have to take a hit here. Please get the 2 turn, the 2 turn might actually save me the game. Oh, we got the roll, never mind, so I think I win now. I didn't actually know that was a roll, I thought I was just knocking a 2 hit KO, but I think I'm good to go here. Because he doesn't have any outrage resists left. I actually don't want to go hard Pharaoh, I feel like Rotom is for sure useless now, so let's just go to that. And then don't I just go a flag on here to Outrage and force the KO on Pelipper? I feel like that's not the worst idea. He gets Rain up again though, but Ferrothorn can probably deal with it. I mean, the other option is just going Zerora here. I guess we'll try that. Like, why not? And then I just click Thunderbolt. He might just sack off the Pelipper. That's what I would do. So we still have Pharaoh to work with. I guess the question is, do I go hard into it? I don't think so, because if I did any close combat into that, I would lose to Liquidation after, I think. So, I, if I were him, I would focus Blast here. So let's go for Thunderbolt. Yeah, because he wants to play off the Choke into Pharaoh, which I'm not going to make ever. So now he should Hydra Pump. I guess he should still focus Blast, because if I keep Pharaoh, he loses. So there's that. Uh, I actually could go Mew and probably take on anything, but Hydreigon is healthy, which I don't like. Yeah, let's go Mew. Just click Psy Shock. Actually, this isn't over. Like, I need to wait until Rain is gone. Is he not Life Orb? Oh, dude, he's not Life Orb. I think I actually lost. Yeah, because don't I have to take the hit with Pharaoh? Because if Flygon doesn't outspeed this, I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, how many Rain turns? Two? I guess it comes down to him hitting Focus Blast then. Which he did, yeah. So I think I lose to close combat into liquidation from Barrescuta, man. <laughs> ah, that actually sucks, dude. What if I hard pivot and flag on? Okay. I'm gonna hard pivot this in. I come in on rocks. I think I- well, if he has Aqua Jet, I still lose. Dude, don't be Aqua Jet, come on. <laughs> I can't believe I got that all those end game plays wrong, but if he's not Aqua Jet, I still win the game. Don't have it. Come on, don't be Aqua Jet. Nobody runs that tech. He has it, I can tell. He's totally Aqua Jet. <laughs> he's, he's toying with me right here, he has Aqua Jet. <laughs> Liquidish, yeah, he has it. I, I knew he was toying with me, so I'll be right back. Dude, I can't believe I actually lost that game. I thought it was over once the Pelipper went down, but I guess he had enough rain turns to work with, which was my bad. I should have gone Pharaoh one of those turns on Ludicolo and tried to stall Rain more, but I failed to do that. I definitely think we get a chance to redeem our souls here. This guy's mono water rain, which is uh, kind of strange here, if I'm being honest. He might lead Dracovish, but I feel like I just want to lead Grimmsnarl against Pelipper. Like, he's running mono water. Why wouldn't he just make all of his attacks even stronger right out of the bat, right? Let's go for player off, though. He doesn't really have counters. Like, I can play off again here, and he doesn't have a fairy resist, so he might suck it off or go Toad. Actually, wait a minute, let's power up this time. Yeah. Well, that's lame. <laughs> I just prevented rocks, and, I mean, I still did, but I took damage. Poison Jab is weird, so he was physical, probably liquidation. That's strange. I mean, I have Sucker Punch for Dracovish, and I can just stand against Caldeo and play off, I think. Yeah, I guess he'll Scald here, which is whatever. Like, I'm not scared of that. I just realized he has no Switch Swim left. He kind of put himself in a position where he doesn't really deal with Calm Mind Zara, but he does have that Aqua Jet, which is annoying. Either way, I definitely like going Mew and clicking Psy Shock. That Double Down is really good for me. I think I go Rotom, but Flygon's probably better if he goes to Dracovish and it's Scarf, so let's do that instead. I think he might go Primarina, but I can U-turn to... Okay, this is fine. In fact, I kind of want to get rid of this, because it's the one thing stopping my Zero Aura, so let's go Pharaoh here. And now if he attacks, it's a double down that works out for me, because I got up rocks. 
Yeah, like, he, I think he lost his arrow now. Maybe. I mean, maybe Dracovis can take it, but it's not looking good for him. So he goes to Dracovis here. I mean, if he goes out into Permarina, I get to switch out. So yeah, I mean, we'll beat this rain team. This guy didn't play very well, though. I mean, that's cool. I don't think it'll make a difference. Because all I've got to do is go to you. He goes for that. I just volt here. It does break the sub. Bring this back. Spam Earthquake. Put him in range of Zara and win. Like, it's not going to make a difference. I don't know why he subbed. He should have killed me. <laughs> like, even if he has a Draining Kiss on this set, it's not going to recover him enough health. What is my Adobe doing open? Let's get rid of that. Um, I guess the safe play is Calm Mind first, but if he crits me, I do lose, but... I don't, I'm not so sure Thunderbolt will kill him, so I guess we'll risk the crit. Okay, he didn't go for it. I'll be right back. So for this next game right here, we're playing against the Dracovish bulky offense. I'm definitely leading Flagon. Yeah, it checks this very well. I just don't know if I want to outrage right out the gate, but I think if he did stay in, I would have to go Pharaoh, which isn't great, but I, I can work with it. So we'll go for U-turn. I kind of want to get momentum on this Corviknight, which is the big thing I'm trying to focus on. And if he also goes Clef, then I can bring in Grim Snarl and try to catch him by surprise, maybe. It depends on how much player F does, but I don't think it's doing enough, right? Um, what is this cl called? Clefable? Oh, it actually does a ton. Hold up. So we do get momentum on this, which was the whole point of my play here. I kind of want to go Rotom. Rotom's fine. And then let's double to Pharaoh on the Toad and try to get up rocks. Yeah, because like I could power up and he would die and then he would lose to Rotom. I don't think he would stay in when you have Corviknight and... I don't know. Should I power up? I guess we'll power up. He goes Hydreigon and I miss. Well, that's pretty bad. I mean, the miss wasn't super big, but the chip would have helped out Flagon's U-turn and also Mew. It's just like the matter of him having a fire move, but I think maybe I should have clicked rocks that turn. All right, I'll make some plays here. We'll go, we'll risk Flagon to get in. As he goes for that flamethrower. Yeah, like there's no way you risk anything else there. Like if I get up rocks or click body press into you, he would die basically, so. Um, I think this time we'll go with Zeroora then, just to kind of stop the cycle of what's happening. And now that we know he's Life Orb, I'm actually kind of a threat to him, so let's go for Calm Mind here, and see whether I can break through his team using Thunderbolt. I think Gengar is probably the Scarf on this team, so that's why I'm keeping Grimmsnarl. That didn't hurt very much. And I can Thunderbolt here, that's gonna take a lot, like... This mod isn't really a joke, dude, I wouldn't really play around with it. So he teleports, but like nobody comes in. Dude, if you're Scarf, you don't kill me. Like, you might Trick here. Trick would be a good play, yeah. But I get rid of his Scarfer, which is really nice. I'm obviously locked into Thunderbolt, though, which isn't ideal. So what we'll do is use this as a chance to get up my rocks. I don't want to power up again, yeah. And who isn't good now? I, I definitely like Rotom. Zara is still useful. Like, Scarf Zara isn't actually horrible. Actually, now that I say that, it is. So let's go Zara here. If he stays in and I focus blast him, he kind of loses the game. So yeah, he's going to make his best play, but I didn't really bother predicting it because it doesn't even give me anything. Dude, I'm going to risk Grimmsnarl here to try to get a player off off. Like, he goes for Wish. I can just player off and probably knock this out. I I'm so tempted to fire punch, but like, it's really not worth my time. So here he gets a U-turn for free. I'm gonna go Rotom, just because it forces out the Hydreigon, most likely. Iron Head Body Press, that's odd. Actually, I'm gonna overheat this time. He, he might stay in. Well, I mean, he doesn't do anything to me, but I don't want to take a Body Press here. And also, I want to chip away at Toad, so he's gonna disconnect. I don't know if he plans on coming back. I don't think it's over at all, but... Mew does look like it's in a good position, so he did come back. I got a Pharaoh here. He does get that burn. I'm gonna knock off this time, because he always goes Hydra, but this time he goes Clef. Okay, good call. 
I'll go to Rotom then on the Wish. As he teleports that out. I think I might just hit this Toad up. Like, oh, he goes Hydreigon. So this is going for Life Orb Draco for sure. Yeah, this is a problem. If he's Flash Cannon, I might lose to it. But I feel like Nasty Plot, Flamethrower, Draco, Flash Cannon. It could be it. But it's not. I got a crit, so he's kind of forced to roost. This is tricky. Like, I, I don't, I'm trying to find an opening to break his team, and I can't find it. Let's go Rotom. Click Nasty Plot again. I, this is really hard. He goes hard Hydreigon, dude. Okay, I'm gonna get him this time. He just Oh, but I lived. Okay, that might just be the game then, because Mew is in such a good position here. Because the Dracovish should be banned if that was the Scar. I think Mew wins now because that happened. He had Flash Cannon? Dude, that would have killed me. I think he's underestimating Life Orb Hedragon's power. That for sure would have done enough. But yeah, don't I just go to Mew Nasty Plot and call that GG? It's looking like it. I don't want to miss the opportunity. I mean, that's annoying, but I'm at plus four now. Okay, maybe I should... Well, I mean, he can't switch to Descend anymore, so... Let's click Flamethrower, try to pick it off. He might pivot Clef this turn. I mean, I have Roost, that's the thing. So I can knock that out there. He just goes to Clef. I'm going to Roost... Yeah, because that, now I can side shock and kill somebody else. Actually, Flamethrower should kill this, and I, I want to catch Corviknight. Uh, I feel like this is my opening. If I don't win with this, I feel like I lose, so let's try to make the best of it. It's plus four Flamethrower to kill Clef. I don't think it does. 60, okay, that's that's a good roll for me. I'll go for Flamethrower. <laughs> Ideally, I can get two more KOs here, but he goes to Toad, which is really good. Did you just see how much Toxic I took, by the way? That did so much. So that's a double down. I only get one more KO. Can I win from this position? Probably. It's not looking that bad. He goes to Clef. I have to U-turn. Uh, maybe it is looking that bad. I think I might have lost because I didn't predict. Maybe I shouldn't have set up on Toad when I knew it was going to Toxic me. That was probably the mistake I made. Yeah, if I just set up on Corvin, I might have just been a guaranteed double E, man. I feel like I messed up. Lord is up a wish. I mean, he can just Moonblast here. Yeah, I'm going to lose now because I uh, I decided to set up on Toad instead of somebody else. That was really dumb of my part. But I can't believe I did that. Like, I'm going to lose. What was easily a winnable game. Okay, we'll go Zara here and spam Thunderbolt. He's going to go back to full, which is really annoying. <laughs> Yeah, that's basically full health. I need to go to this and hope that player up does enough. I mean, he's going to protect the scout my move and then go Corviknight, right? Wait, he didn't. I think he might have thrown. No, because now I can't break the fair. Yeah, I, I lost because I set up with me on the wrong Pokemon, dude. I can't believe I did that. That was like such a bad mistake. I'll be right back. So I have another game right here. I've thrown two games that I should have won today, which isn't really the best, but I mean, it happens, I guess. I don't know. Let's lead Flygon and U-turn. I don't know. He might stay in, but he has a Hippo, so and a Clef. Let's get up rocks here as he goes back to Dracozult, so this is like the most obvious fire fang ever. I definitely need this, so who do I go to? Rotom's good, Mew, Mew is really good. I don't think Zara is that great, but 
It's really just the sand core, which I can deal with. Okay, we'll do this. Oh, it's sub. Well, in that case, I have to sucker punch, because if he hits Bolt Peak, I actually die. This is kind of bad, like... And by kind of bad, I mean it's really bad, because if he's like... I don't know why he's thinking, you click Bolt Peak here, right? I guess if I went Pharaoh, you might die. If he Fire Fangs, that's good for me. But yeah, he goes for Bolt Peak. Okay, we'll bring you out and... Okay, I feel like I have to get momentum this time. Let's go for U-turn and try to get something going here. I can try to Nasty Plot early and see whether I can break his team down with it. Like, his helmet, probably Whirlwind. Okay, let's see whether I can do anything here. If he Whirlwinds, that's fine. Like, depending on who he pulls, I can throw off a knockoff or a Grass Knot. If he's Toxic, though, am I going to lose to another Toxic Pokemon Toxicing my Mew? You should go Clef. He goes to Drill. Dude, I think I win. And then he throws out Drill. What are you doing? If, if he Scarf Jirachi, I get... Okay, yeah, he, he's throwing the game. I don't know what he's doing now. Where are you? 1442. Okay, I'm really glad I didn't lose this game. <laughs> because, uh... I would have lost like 50 points, probably. Something like that. Okay, cool. I'll be side shocking this as well. And then I guess Kama and Zara in the end is gonna be how we do this. Like, I want to make sure that I don't lose to setup Clef, but I feel like that's really hard to do. He might be. No, he's left over. It's okay. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna go Rotom here and try to end things off. I should live two psychics. And I feel like he's gonna go Hippo anyway. I guess if he spit up drops me, I could lose, technically. Okay, just don't crit me, and I think I win here. Okay, that did plenty of damage. Yeah, it's over. Gets the spit up drop. I don't know if he has a word sphere on this, but I didn't want to sack out him. Just because Erotum is kind of my ticket to beating Clef, if I'm being honest. DQ. We'll go to you. Click Nasty Plot. I mean, if he whirlwinds me, that's okay. I can literally rinse repeat the situation. And he, I will force him to lose. Like, uh, The only way he beats me is if he's unaware of Calm Mind Clef. So he does have Whirlwind, good to know. I want to see what his Clefable is. Is it unaware Calm Mind? Okay, we can plus two overheat now. Knock that out. What are you? Just show me Magic Guard. Okay, he runs. I'll be right back. So I have another game right here. We can categorize these mons. We have the two cool mons, the two annoying mons, and the two tryhard mons. So let's go ahead and I guess Hippowdon can be kind of annoying mon too, but I think we can break this team with Mew. Let's go ahead and lead off with Flygon. I want to find out if this is Helmet. I don't really mind taking a bit of chip here. It's not the end of the world if I do. He's probably just going to try to get a Brox, because that's what a lot of people like to do turn one. So I'll do that as well. Turn two here. He's going to go Sigilyph, I think. Should I actually knock off? Because if Sigi does come in, I'm in kind of a compromised situation. Because now he has Heat Wave for sure. I don't know, like I could stay in a knock off, but if he's Psychics, that's good. If I go Rotom on Psychic, I think I lose. Yeah, I'm actually not risking Rotom at all. Who isn't good? Zara is good. I guess I can go Grim Snarl, but... Yeah, Heat Wave does way too much to me. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We are going to take our time here, make it seem like I don't have Sucker Punch, and then click Sucker Punch. And if he switches out, uh, that'll be bad, but... You didn't, so we get him there. That's why you take your time. Like, if you want your opponent to think you're thinking, then just don't click a move and it'll work. Like, 
I know it's kind of cheesy to play mind games like that, but I'll do what I have to. Like, his correct play there was going Tox of X, but... Not everybody makes it the correct play, right? Like, not everybody is perfect, so try to get them to mess up when you can. Anyway, this isn't over at all, but if he continues playing super safe like that, it might be over soon. <laughs> Let's click Leech Seed. If he goes hard Life Orb Clef, then he got me, but... I kind of want recovery here. He might also go Pex, which would mean I have to... Okay, this gets Heat Crash, I do know that. We're gonna go Grimmsnarl. I feel like he for sure clicks Heat Crash, right? Yeah. And then, don't I go... Rotom and Nasty Plot to pick up my KO? You see, these are the mind games I hate, because like, if I overheat, he dies. If I don't- if I Volt Switch, and Pex comes in, that's great. But I get it wrong, okay. Volt Switch might honestly still pick up the KO, like... It wouldn't surprise me if it does, but I feel like it probably doesn't. Drill doesn't kill me, but actually it's Life Orb, so it probably does kill me with the Rock Slide from that range. I'll go Pharaoh, and if he Earthquakes, he's- he's just good. He goes for Rock Slide. Yeah, he doesn't really make plays, that's what I've noticed. I knock off Clef's leftovers. I just need that drill out of the way and this game will be a win. So now that we've compromised that situation for him, we're gonna go Rotom here. Cause he has to protect, right? There's really not another option he has there. Uh, do you guys think he goes hard drill? Maybe he'll make a play this time. I don't think he'll. He's gonna go hard drill. It's just nasty plot. He goes hippo, if anything. And then we're back in that same situation where I can... <laughs> okay, he runs. I'll be right back. So I have another game right here. I'm pretty sure those two losses put me in 1600s today, so I really have to get back to 1700s. Let's go ahead and lead off with... Well, he has Shuckle. I think I lead off with Grim. Although... Combine Zara is also good, but if he has Encore on that Shuckle, it's a bit worse. So he's gonna do that. I can play rough here. Unfortunately, it doesn't do it KO. But he doesn't have the greatest answers to it. So he Encores me into the attack that I was already locked into, which is okay with me, obviously. Um, if he goes Cloister, I just have to go Pharaoh and not get flinched. Actually, I probably just stay in on it. It takes so much. But now I have to sack somebody. I feel like I don't sack this. But if he shell smashed again, he would have me, so let's let's not mess around. Alright, Ferrothorn, um, it's up to you. Don't get flinched, and we probably win. Okay, I will go ahead and get another game. So yeah, I did click X a bit earlier right there. What I should have done was gone Rotom and played off him missing Rock Blast. But um, I was a bit tilted after that flinch, so I just kind of left. And, you know, I'd never dodge anyway, so let's go ahead and see what I can do right here. I definitely like Grimstonar along lead. He leads off with his. I don't know how fast his is, but I'm totally willing to risk this. I'm gonna prove that mine is the better Grimstonar. Oh, we scarf. Wait, uh, <laughs> I should pay attention more. Uh, let's let's go Pharaoh. If he fire punches, you got me. He goes for a trick. Okay. Well, I should live fire punch anyway. <laughs> Dude, I'm so glad I noticed. I kind of wish I actually had my helmet. Dude, this set? I actually don't want him tricking again, which is crazy. Alright, here's what I have in my mind. We're gonna go Grimmsnarl here, and now that he doesn't have the Choice Scarf, we're going to... I wonder what his last move is. Probably Plara for Darkest Lariat, right? Okay, so if this is a bandit, I'm dead. It's Sash, okay. So let's go right for player off. Try to do some hit damage to it right here. That's why Frisk is so nice. It gives you information and can you can play accordingly. So let's see what I can do right now about this. We can bring it down to Sash, and then I have two choices. He would close combat. I think it is worth it to try to just kill it with Scar Pharaoh. Like, what is that doing for me? 
So yeah, that's fine. It does kind of give him an opening depending on if he tries to set up here, but... I don't know. The, the really scary setup sweeper is the Komoo. That's the one I'm worried about. But I have Scarf Flygon, which can outspeed it after one setup, so there is that. He ups for Gengar. Shadow Ball, I mean, understandable, that's his best play. Let's go ahead and go... I don't actually have the best option here, huh? Like, Flygon just invites in Corviknight or Komoo. Me, I can't go. Zara could come in, but it's against the full health Komo. Well, I guess we go Rotom. Like, yeah, I don't really know what else I could have done there. Let's go for Overheat. He might go hard Hydreigon. What am I right now? I think I'm 5 and 3 right now, right? That sounds right. Because I lost the 2, and then I got flinched by the Cloister. But I won 5. I hope I win. I don't want to go 5-4. and Because I, I need my points back. Those those losses lost me so many points. Whereas the wins really didn't get me much. So I would love to try to get my points back. Anyway, I don't know what he's thinking about doing. But I think I can beat any setup sweeper he would have. Just I hope he goes Hydreigon. Like if he goes Hydreigon that opens up Mew. But I then again I don't know if Mew can win. Uh, of course he's would have drops me. Can I crit him back at least? No. Great, okay, well, now I don't 2-it KO him because I kind of have to switch out. Let's just hope he's choice locked. Oh, he's leftovers. Uh, that's annoying. Alright, well. Yeah, I'm probably gonna lose again. Let's hit him with Thunderbolt, though, and maybe try to make a comeback here. I don't know, like, this could definitely win, Zara, but I need damage on Komo'o. A lot. What does he have? Trick, Taunt, Thunder Wave. So we could take my leftovers here in theory. But he opts to attack. Okay. That's all good. I don't mind taking a bit of damage there. Like, now we're in a position where if he's not, not Scarfied Dragon, I can definitely win with this. But I don't know. We'll see if he wants to go like Komo here or maybe trick away my item. He should actually take my leftovers if he's gonna just sack this here. So let's see what the, whether he does or not. I don't know why you didn't trick. Like, that was your best option, dude. <laughs> Take my recovery away before dying, at least. Like, why wouldn't you? Maybe he thinks that if you don't have an item, trick doesn't work, but you de it definitely does. Anyway, we'll go Grim Snarl. It is set up. You got Flash Cannon, though? Dude, I feel like Flagon kills this even with those boosts. Like, Flagon would win if I could get rid of Corviknight, but that involves getting rid of Corviknight, which is... Okay, now it definitely dies to Flagon. And I feel like he's not going to switch. So it maybe comes down to what the Hydreigon is, because I, I win with Zara if it's not Scarf, I think, but if it is, I lose. He sucks that off. I would have gone Corviknight, but I guess he didn't care. So it literally comes down to whether the Hydreigon is Scarf, which I feel like it has to be. I can Calm Mind on the Corviknight, but I need to hit a Focus Blast too, which is another factor here. Like, I need to hope it's not Scarf, and then I also hit Focus Blast, which I feel like is impossible. Like, how does that happen? I'm going to keep this because if it does actually get the... Like, if I kill the Corviknight with Mew here, then I can win without Rage alone, which I definitely want to keep around. So he's going to U-turn to Gengar, right? Yeah, it, it comes down to what the Hydreigon is, which is such a shame. Because he goes Gengar, gets some recovery on it. I wish I could kill this thing earlier, but... Anyway, let's see what's up. Let's go right for Calm Mind. And just find out now. Like, if I call mind he can't kill me, I should Oko Corviknight from that range, and then it just comes down to Hydreigon. I don't think there's a move that this could use to really stop me here. Like, it comes down to what Hydreigon is. Yeah, so now I have Thunderbolt. If you're Scarf Hydreigon, you win. If you're not, I win. If I hit a Focus Blast, which I uh, generally don't, but... What are you? 
Scarf, not scarf. Scarf, okay, yeah, so GG. Let's go ahead and leave, and that will be the live. I mean, I don't know, I'm not really happy with how I played today. I went five and four, but I, I really think I could have gone like seven and two, maybe even eight and one if I didn't get flinched by that cloister, but I don't know, it happens. I did hope y'all enjoyed though, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.